Hi, I'm Irene Diamond and I'm here with my dad, Dr. Milton Diamond. So today we're going to just find out how he got into studying sex. Everybody wants to know what makes somebody get into <laughs> sexology and his specialty, so we're going to find out why. When I was uh, living in Japan and deciding where to go to study, I wrote to three particular professors that were recommended to me. One was Frank Beach in Berkeley. Another one was Charles Sawyer at UCLA. Another was William C. Young in Kansas. And um, they all were interested in studying behavior and I was interested in trying to find out why people did whatever they did. And uh, as it was, the response came from Kansas before the others and uh, and I accepted that one and it was fortunate because that was an episode that changed my life because William C. Young as the others were studying what was called reproductive behavior in those days nobody studied sex but they called it reproductive behavior. It was the same thing, but generally. Sounded better. <laughs> yeah, and it was more acceptable. Right. And you could get money for studying that. You couldn't get money for, getting, for studying sex. And uh, so I went with, with, uh, with Young, and I was very fortunate because the laboratory that he ran had some excellent people there that also were became my teacher. And this is when you were a grad student, right? Yes, yeah, I mean, I was, yeah. I had spent time in the Army, and just coming back from the Army then, uh, this was going to be my return to civilian life. Anyway, uh, they were studying why animals did what they did. And they, the most fundamental question was, what, how did the male animal know to act like a male animal? And how did the female animal know to act like a female? And uh, these are, we, we consider, well, that's natural, you know. Mm -hmm. But natural to a scientist doesn't mean anything. Right. You have to find out why. So that's where they, where they were studying. And I said, okay, that's what I'll study. So that's how I started. That's how you got into it. Yeah. And now I'll tell a funny story, because I want to bring the personal side of my dad okay. to you. When he goes on an airplane traveling, if he's sitting near somebody and he doesn't feel like talking, <laughs> of course, when somebody says, so what do you do? He certainly doesn't say he studies sex. And when they say, where do you live? He never says he's from Hawaii, <laughs> because both of those topics start a conversation. So he mumbles something maybe about accounting or something. No offense to you accountants. <laughs> I teach math usually. I teach math. That's his, his stock answer and then the conversation ends and he can go about doing what he wants to do. Thanks dad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Milton Diamond, the University of Hawaii School of Medicine, John A. Burns School of Medicine. Um, if you're interested in things I have to say or interested in the things I've written about, I have a website you can check out. It's under the Pacific Center for Sex and Society. And if you'd like to keep in touch or you'd like me to let you know if I'll be speaking in your area or writing things you may be interested in, drop me a line and fill out this form that's associated with this and we can keep in touch. Thank you.